Today I want to talk about getting stuck when we start our business. I see this in women who come into my coaching programs and I've also seen this in coaching programs that I belong to with my mentor. It's people getting stuck on things that aren't necessarily that important. They're getting stuck on the small things. They're getting stuck on the things that don't really matter. So people will start to worry about what email provider should they use? What merchants should I use to collect money? What about my branding? What about my photo shoot? What about my colors? Uh, all these are really, you know, not the big decisions. You know, what website hosting service should I use? These aren't really the, the things that are gonna make or break your success. Um, these are just decision, decisions that you need to make. So it's not like you're going to make this decision and then sort of seal yourself in a room that you're never going to be able to come out from again. Your business is going to evolve and you are going to evolve with it. So these decisions can change. So you can think, oh, I've got, you know, I've really got to nail down my niche. You know, your niche will probably change. Your business will change as you grow and evolve. When I started, I started out online teaching dowsing courses because pendulum dowsing, because that was something I loved. I was well known for it in that um, area. I was a British Society of Dowsers tutor. I was a trustee. I taught lots of people face to face and I had this course and I knew I wanted to put it online. And that was the start of my online business. I just knew I needed to make a decision to launch something and get it out there. And then I ended up doing a house, uh, an online program, which I still run, I still run both of these, on working with the energy in your home to make sure you've got a supportive environment and work with the soul of your house. And then that led me into working with the soul of businesses and bringing back in my professional experience as a project manager so I could become a business coach. That was my long term goal. But I started off by deciding I'm going to sell the dowsing course because I know there's a market for it and I know I can sell them. So you, your business will evolve. No decision is forever the, the the you know just make a decision pick your website host pick your merchant decide on a branding color you're just better off picking something rather than sitting there and able to make a decision and being inactive for a week or two weeks just pick something moving forward is always the right step just take a decision take action i think about when i felt stuck in my life it was at times when I just wasn't able to make a decision. It might have been that I, you know, when I had, I had loads of university offers to go and study my degree and my MA it was like, which university do I go to? Great choice to have. Um, or which job offer do I then take afterwards? It was just pick one. There is no right or wrong. Just pick one. Everywhere is a route to where you want to be. There are many different paths that will get you there. All of them have different learning experiences. It doesn't really matter which one you take. And no one has a crystal ball. No one can see a hundred steps away or five years away where they're going to be. You just need to make a decision. Make the best informed decision you can about the step that is in front of you. It won't be a fresh decision. In fact, I can guarantee it won't be a forever decision. You know, we, our business will change and evolve. The first online offer or product you make will not be your last one. The first business you create, the business that you have five years down the line will not be the same business. It will grow and evolve as you grow and evolve. We learn to move forward just by making decisions. So just make that decision, move forward into action. That's what gets us unstuck. So it's like wading through mud, isn't it? And you've got your feet squelched and you're stuck. The only thing that's going to get you unstuck is trying to force a leg out that suction that's holding you. And that's what your decision making is. So otherwise we will sit there spinning our wheels. It's like being stuck in mud with both feet and thinking, which foot shall I lift first? I, am I better lifting the right foot or am I better lifting the left foot? Any foot will do to get you out of the quagmire. And that's really how we make success. We make decisions. They might not be the great, the great one. We might lift our foot out of the mud and leave our Wellington behind. Or we might, you know, put a foot down on a stone next and stub our toe. But we learn from those decisions and we move forward. Now, the only reason my business is growing the, the way that it is, is because I made those decisions. I'll launch a dowsing course that will learn me a bit more about marketing. And I'll have some great people to work with. Right, now I'm ready to launch the next course. You know, if I had decided to just say, oh, God, I don't know which one to launch. I really want to go into high end business coaching. That's really where I want to be. I've got to wait until I'm ready to do that. or I've created the course material. I wouldn't have been able to be running my business for the last three years. Um, 
and been able to leave my job. So just make a decision about what it's, you know, what it is. Just make some kind of decision. So as I say, nothing is a forever decision. And actually, when you're starting out, when you think about it, you know, there aren't many people looking at you. You haven't got a massive audience. You're not heavily invested in systems and structures and a team. That is the best time to make a decision that isn't final, that no one else is depending on, that allows you to make mistakes, allows you to feel into what your business wants to become, allows you to unlock parts of yourself that you're going to bring to your business that you hadn't maybe been aware of. Why does your business exist? Where are your soul gifts? This is a very, very voyage of discovery. We have to evolve and move and be fluid in this. So never think about decisions as final. Your first product will not be your last. The business you create to start with is not what it's going to be evolve into and become. So just take action, take a step, make the best informed decision about the challenge that is in front of you. Pick an email provider, go with whatever colour on your branding, just pick a merchant to take money, just pick a niche I'm just going to, that will do for now. That's to start. I know I can deliver it. I can help give value. I can I know I can help people in those niche. It doesn't have to be your forever niche. So I'm Faye Semple. I hope you have found these videos helpful. I release them every Monday. Let me know where you're watching from. Scroll down, leave a comment. And I hope you and your business are going to move forward together from a place of wholeness and harmony this week.